and welcome to episode number 29 of the PT Ooh. Central podcast, Getting Real with Jazz and Nick. Nearly and dirty 30s. Yeah, <laughs> or flirty 30s. 30 30s. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so today we're talking to you about nutrition and just helping you know more about nutrition to help your clients, basically. So we're bringing you all the go know about artificial sweeteners. Of course, we aren't qualified mm-hmm. dietitians, but if you do want a dietitian's advice, please go back to our episode we did with Shanara, who is an accredited dietitian. Mm-hmm. Um, so we are just giving our opinion of what we've read and what we've learned from other dietitians and other health professionals. Yeah. So you'll be noticing that there's a lot of sugar-free products coming out. There are more, like more so even now and in the future. There's because even sugar-free everyone's going ice cream. to like off low fat now yeah. and um so sugar's now the demon, so they're going to low sugar products. Yep. And so, um the marketing geniuses. <laughs> yeah, and there's lollies that are sugar free, there's chocolate that's sugar free, but then what are they actually putting in these products to still make them taste addictive they still taste like chocolate i literally had chocolate ice cream at an ice cream shop the other day and it tasted better than real ice cream like and okay, it was sugar free sugar free yeah, yeah that's what i meant mm. yeah what did i call it I don't know. <laughs> Just checking. Yeah, sugar free ice cream and it tasted like real ice cream, so I don't know what that was about. Yeah, so basically, what they do to substitute for the sugars in the um, products is to use chemicals. Yeah, basically. What's um, worse, chemicals or the sugar is what the question is. Mm-hmm. What would you feed your children? So, a lot of um, artificial sweeteners actually been banned in other countries, still available here in Australia as far as I'm aware. Um, but basically, if you ever notice, if you ever had too many sugar-free lollies, too much sugar-free chocolate, what happens? I'm stuck on the toilet all night. Oh, mm. my gut disagrees with it so much. What? Ha- why does this happen? What happens to your body? Like, it's what's obviously going on? rejecting it like it's poison. Yes, that's right. So that actually is not ideal for our bodies at all. So don't go thinking that I'm feeding my kids sugar-free chocolate and it's so much healthier. Or recommending to your clients, then you should have like sugar-free this and sugar-free that. Because it's not going to be the best option. So what would be better, an apple or a sugar-free apple lollies? Definitely an apple. It's got fibre, nutrients. It's natural. It's what our bodies are designed mm-hmm. to process. So yeah. Yeah, so while everyone is on the sugar-free bandwagon right now, um, it shouldn't be a case of substituting sugar itself because another thing that sugar-free products do um, is when you eat them, it sends a message to your brain that you've consumed sugar. So you still thing. get the um, cravings. the cravings for sugar. Yeah. Um, so therefore, you'll still be craving sugar after you've had it or a short while after you've had it. And you'll want the real thing mm. or more of the bad stuff that makes you go on the toilet all night. That's right. Oh, it's just bad experiences, okay? <laughs> Learning the hard way. Yeah, that's right. Don't go Test there. Test it out for yourself. Go have, two, go have two scoops of sugar-free ice cream and some sugar-free lollies. And, oh. That's right. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it is, it is fairly poisonous, poisonous to our bodies, I think probably in um, medium to large doses. Um, but... Having said that, like I don't feel that we should be putting small amounts of poison into our body either, um, where we can get natural sugars in fruits and stuff like that that are combined with fiber, which off, help offset some of that sugar um, and slow down, like slow down the absorption into our bloodstream and keep our blood sugars stable. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I was. I just think the whole like yeah they kill the whole low fat thing, and then we put sugar in our products, and now they're killing sugar and now they're putting these chemicals in our products. Like I think it just seems to be getting worse. Now I'm not saying that low fat's better than no sugar. I just think we need to have a more holistic approach and just eat real whole foods that eat our whole bodies fat, are designed. Eat whole fat yogurt. Eat yeah. whole fat plain yogurt. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I don't think you should go eat full sugar products, but um, you should just maybe not eat them at all. Yeah, or full fat like plain um, bread yogurt. Yeah, there's hardly any sugar. The sugar that does have is lactose. Yeah, so it's just same body. as milk. Full like milk. You look at a bottle of skim milk and it's full of sugar and no fat. Yeah. You know, and that's not ideal either. Same with like fat-free mayonnaise mm. and it's just horrible. Righto. That, that's all for yeah. today, I think, on that. Cool. So hopefully you've got your brain ticking about next time what you tell your clients to eat over the weekend. It's Friday and it's nutrition. Mm-hmm. That's always like a tackling thing, I think. Like Friday's nutrition because it's going into a weekend. Yeah, so, yeah. it's always good to come before a weekend because everyone's good Monday, but... For the weekend and over the weekend, not so much. Yeah.
So head to www.ptcentral.net.au for more greatness about everything we speak about. Um, and also check out all our podcasts, our video blogs, our blogs, and our amazing website. It's improving every day. Yeah. And don't forget that Chinara, um, our dietitian, has actually made heaps of sugar-free meal plans yeah. that don't use artificial sweeteners. So if you're yeah, looking for to give your clients, on ptcentral.net.au. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So that's the best place to go. And you can download heaps and heaps and heaps of resources to save your personal training business and just build it into the best thing for you and your lifestyle. And to just improve your clients' results, keep them happy, keep them coming back. Exactly. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.